The decision was made uh, around two years ago to uh, renovate this site that had been empty for three years. Um, as part of that uh, discussion and decision making, it was decided to install an energy efficient ammonia refrigeration system along with uh, LED lighting and upgraded um, office cooling air conditioning. This decision has saved us close to 50% on our previous energy costs. Installation of this system was quite simple. Uh, the compressor units were all assembled and ready to go in a pod which was delivered to site and basically connected to the building. Um, system has been running for near on 12 months without an issue. My name is Stefan Jensen. I work for a company called Scantec Refrigeration Technologies. We specialise in systems employing so-called natural refrigerants. Today I'm going to tell you about a conversion from Freon to Ammonia that saves the client 50% on his energy costs per year. We have the largest installed base of centralised low charge ammonia systems of any company in the world. The system uh, that I'll be talking to you about challenges the general consensus that ammonia is only any good for large plants. These plants that we have installed comply with the best practice energy performance benchmark that was proposed last week at the International Congress of Refrigeration in Montreal, Canada. The background for the installation is uh, conversion from Freon refrigerant to ammonia refrigerant. Without getting into a lot of detail what Freon is, the world has agreed to phase down hydrofluorocarbons because they are harmful to the environment. Under one umbrella they're referred to as Freons. So everybody who has a HFC system must convert to something else. The something else is ammonia, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons, water or air. They are the five natural refrigerants that will survive in the long term. The system, the ammonia system uh, in this facility is a true plug and play system. We call them scan packs. It comes to site uh, in a package on a truck. Typically after the unit has been installed on site, the interconnecting pipe work and insulation takes three weeks to do. Then the system is ready to go and if the freezer is not already cold, it takes two weeks to pull the freezer down to the design temperature. Energy performance of refrigerated warehouses is measured in kilowatt hours per cubic metre per year. Cubic metre referring to refrigerated volume. We also call that specific energy consumption. Now this plant, uh, when it was a Freon based system, the energy performance records indicates a specific energy consumption of 206 kilowatt hours per cubic metre per year. Following the conversion from Freon to Ammonia, the energy consumption was recorded at 88 kilowatt hours per cubic metre per year. The most recent measurements reduces that to 68 kilowatt hours per cubic metre per year. So this is a reduction of somewhere between 57 and 70 percent in that order. Aside from energy efficiency, uh, one of the main features of a centralised low charge ammonia system is safety. Inside the refrigerated space, this is the freezer, there are two evaporators. Each evaporator contains an operating ammonia charge of approximately 0.5 to 0.6 kilograms. In the event that there's an, a leak, an ammonia leak from one of these evaporators and it loses the entire operating charge inside the freezer, uh, the operators will be able to smell it, but there is uh, no chance of the concentration getting to a, a level that poses a risk for humans. The system I've been talking about is cash flow positive from day one. It is cash flow positive from day one simply because the monthly energy savings are greater than what a buyer would have to pay in instalments on a loan to fund the purchase.